All right, so we're talking about dots. We call this exercise dots. Here's how you make them. Just get a piece of cardboard and cut some holes in it. The two top holes are two feet apart, and then the bottom holes are two feet apart as well, but they're three feet away from the top holes. So you got a two-foot spread here, and then a three-foot spread from top to bottom, and then the center dot goes in the middle. You could lay this on the ground as your template, and with some spray paint, you can just make those marks. If you, don't, if you want something less permanent than spray paint, you can use sidewalk chalk to make your dots that way. All right? And if you want to keep it really simple, just estimate in your head with some sidewalk chalk what two feet is. It doesn't have to be two feet by three feet with a dot in the middle, but that's the way we have them here. It looks like dice, and as a matter of fact, the first game we play with this is called dice. And this increases uh, eye-foot coordination, speed, agility, balance, and coordination. Guys, let's show them how to do the dice game. Three, two, one, go. Excellent job. Okay, great. Now, let's go, let's show them a second game with the dice. Let's go with, um, yes, two foot around the world. So you're going to place both feet together, stand on one dot in the corner, and go around the world. Excellent job. Good job. Okay, stop, take a break. And let's, let's show them one final game they can play with the dice. Let's go around the world. This will be a higher skill level, a little bit tougher. Let's go around the world with one foot. One foot only, so we're hopping. And three, two, one, go. Excellent job. Great. Take a break. You know, there's lots of games that you can play with the dots like this. Simply go online. You can Google dot drills. And lots and lots of other drills will come up besides the three that we showed you. Have fun with it. It will really increase the agility, the coordination, accuracy, and balance in an athlete. Thanks.